this video we're going to learn how to make a granny square. Um, I'm, this is basically a remake of my how to crochet lesson one uh, with a much clearer camera. So I'm going to skip the part that talks about the yarn and the tools because I have a video up on the Back to Basics series that discusses that part of the um, learning to crochet. So I have a link up here somewhere uh, going to talk about tools and your um, yarn. Start, to start with you need to, to learn your tension. The way I do my tension is I wrap it around my pinky, around my pointer, and then I hold the tail between my thumb and my middle finger. Okay, and then the way I make a slip knot is I go behind let me zoom in just a little bit. Go behind the thread between my middle finger and my pointer with my hook and pull it up. I do a 180 degrees turn. It came off my finger. And then I catch the yarn underneath like this. And then I hold on to that little knot and then I pull it through. And that is a slip knot. It can also be counted as a chain if you don't pull it tight. Okay, now there's another way of making a slip knot. And that is you just cross it over like this. See, I take it, I fold the yarn in half, twist it away from me, and then the tail that's hanging down, I push that up through the loop and pull it up, and then you pull that tight. That's a slip knot, and that slip knot is not going to count as a stitch because it's tight. Okay, so there's different ways to do it, and I'll use one or all or different ways when I do my stitching. As long as you got that loop on your hook, that's the most important thing. You want to make sure that it is loose, that you can slide it back and forth with your hook without it catching. I'm using medium worsted weight yarn, and an eye nine or five and a half millimeter crochet hook. I recommend you use the hook they recommend on the yarn label. Okay, so what we're going to do for this for this uh, granny square, some people use what's called a magic loop. I'm going to do a chain four. So what you do to chain four is you yarn over your hook, which is you kind of scoop the yarn around the hook and you draw it through that loop. Let me do it, take it out and do it again. Scoop, catch it in the hook, then you pull it through by twisting your hook down slightly. That's your one chain. Then you do that again. This is called a yarn over, which is basically you go take the yarn over the hook, but at the same time you're using the hook to go under the yarn. And you scoop it and you bring it downwards. That's two. So I see I have two chains right there. You don't count the one that's on the hook. Okay, now do it again. Three. Yarn over. Catch the yarn. Twist your hook downward. And pull it through. There you've got four chains. Okay, and I want you to practice making chains like that until they come out pretty even. They'll look like V's on the front, almost like a braid. But then you look at the back of it, and there's where you can see it looks like a chain. It has a loop at the top, a loop at the bottom, and one a bump coming up the middle. Okay, oh, the front side is the one that faces you should be the side with the V's. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to form a circle with these four chains and you go into your first stitch, just poke your hook, let me show you, take your hook and see that first chain, let's see there's one, two, three, four chains, you go back to that first one coming out of the slip knot and go underneath that little loop right there. Then you catch up your yarn and you want to do it a yarn over back to front. Twist your hook down a little bit and pull it through. Okay, and see that first loop? You want to bring it through the second loop by pulling it down and through. 
Now if you look carefully, it doesn't look like a loop, does it? But there is a hole in the middle of that circle. If you pull it out, you can see it. And I do have a video that's a tip on how to find that hole and how to keep track of it. So that's our center circle. So this is the step one. I'm going to stop this video now and we'll go on to step two on the next video.